Okay, this is too rad not to share. This is like one of the reasons I come out to the mountains is you have a really beautiful sight like this. Look how cool that is. We're coming up above uh, the inversion layer and it's a sunny day up here in the mountains. Rock and roll. All right, Nick Hawks with Gristle King here. Just installed this people counter on the San Diego River Park Foundation land here on Elko Mountain. This will be collecting uh, information about how many people walk by on this trail. This is a private trail. It goes into a place where there are protected species and we wanna count how many folks are coming in and out of that. There is pretty much no one out here. This is at the end of a five mile, fairly rugged public trail. You can keep going another mile up to the top of Elko Mountain or you can go a different way to a, another piece of this massif, but this particular trail is private and so we wanted to know how many people are trespassing on it and do we need to do any kind of mitigation piece or is it not really a big deal if it's only a couple people probably not worth worrying about so that's what's going on we are using the helium network to get these things connected off in the distance uh, behind you and in front of me there is pretty much the entire spread of san diego so lots and lots of hot spots down there that will be picking up this signal and sending it on to the integration where you'll be able to see how many people walked by what's going on with this unit um, if it's still in service solar power battery life all of that stuff is on there so pretty exciting little uh, test project with helium this is only the first one that i've done i've got to do three more on this trail and i did the first one because i knew there were going to be problems there certainly were it took me a long time to find the right place to put this the ground out here is really hard and so i couldn't screw it in anywhere so a lot of great lessons learned next time i come out here i'll bring a drill bit that's another important piece about these iot project is there are always going to be problems to solve so always just take it in little steps do one thing at a time test one thing try one thing learn from that and then apply that to the next things going forward. That's the way to succeed over time, even if like today you have kind of minor failures. Okay, this one is up and counting. I'm super excited to share the results with you. Rock on. Thanks a ton for watching that. I wanted you to know about a couple other things that Crystal King offers. We've got the Helium Basic course. So if you're brand new to Helium, that's a great way to get started. We've got the Helium Vision Masterclass. So if you want to use one of the most powerful tools out there for assessing potential deployments, that's a great course to take. And we also have the Gristle Crew. So if you want to meet up with a bunch of people who are doing regular community connections, if you want to jump on the uh, private Discord that we've got where we all talk to each other and be part of a positive, enthusiastic group that is dedicated to learning and teaching each other about Helium and sharing what we know, I'd love to have you on board with that. Now, whatever you do with Gristle King, whether you read the blog, you get a private consult with me, you join the Gristle Crew, you take the courses, I'm stoked as long as you're learning. Thanks again for watching, and I'd love to see you over on the Gristle King site. Rock on!